But remember what I said just a few minutes earlier? Everything has a price and a consequence, and that includes sin. In Genesis 3, verse 19, In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for just you are unto dust you will return. You know, it's one thing that's 100% certain for all of us, probably the only thing that can ever be 100% certain for all of us, and that's that one day our mortal bodies will die. From dust we came and to dust we shall return. And why is that? Because, as we read in Romans 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is death. For as in Adam, all die. But death need not be the end of things. There's another solution, and that's life eternal. A couple of chapters earlier, in chapter 3, Isaiah prophesies of a coming saviour, the Messiah, who would pay the price for our sin so that we can be set free from the power of sin and death. It's common nowadays, is it not, to hear that there are many ways to God or that all gods are equal. But 1 Timothy 2 verse 5 tells us that there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Jesus Christ. That tells us a lot about Jesus, doesn't it? He's a mediator and he's a man and he's God. In John 14 verse 6 we read, Jesus says, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus' own words. There's no other God but Jehovah, Yahweh. And Jesus is the only way. 